Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. You know what? I've decided to take this flight with me. <laughs> and now we're gonna go over to Lurker Valley. <laughs> so, with that flag removed, it'll tick off people, and then they'll be like, Who did that? Was it the people at Lurker Valley who we stole the idol from? Or Okay, no, that didn't really happen. <laughs> Nah, I'm just messing around. So Lurker Valley, I'm gonna do the usual wandering around like I did before at Wellworn Grove. Only there's not as much valley to look through in terms of like where there might be a side quest or people or something like that. Uh, so I don't know if there's gonna be anything. There might not be anything. Chances are there won't be anything because if it follows the Wellworn Grove's footsteps, there is no post-game side quest or something for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know. It seems kind of suspicious that there wouldn't be any post-game side quests. Hmm. 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 <laughs> anyway, let's take a loops around the dupes and... No. No new people. No new dot dot dots. You have best friendship with Turtle. No new dialogue to Boots. Alas, alas, it looks like we're just gonna end up going straight over to the pro shop for the most part because it doesn't seem like that there's gonna be any new residents or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna go there. Just, just a minute, just a minute. <laughs> I'll get there because I just want to see if there's any new people hanging out with the regular people there that had me do the lie challenge and stuff like that, but nope. It doesn't look like it. No one hanging around the trees. No one on the tiny island? Nope. No one ar around the rock? <laughs> no, I was just getting stuck on the rock actually and played it off. <laughs> Sometimes I get stuck on objects when I walk by them because everything's got a sharp corner. It's like, you hit that sharp corner and you're done. You, 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 you can't move. You can't get any further. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sometimes hard to figure out where the sharp, um, like where the edges of objects are. Like, see that? Yeah, I can't move any closer to the rock there. So that means if I'm approaching it from this side, oh wait, I can go through there. I'm gonna go one pixel over. Oh nope, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, yeah, it doesn't appear like that. There's any new things going on here. So I guess I will be plopping on over to the course and collecting its badges as well as attempting to get the lowest score that I possibly can get. It's kind of too bad that I cannot play the Wii Links over here anymore. At least I don't think I can. Hmm. You ready to play a course? You probably get to eat by turtle. Nope. Same dialogue. Boring. <laughs> Alright. Nine holes to play. Birdie badges to get. Let's do it. It is time for a masterful round through Lurker Valley. Now that we have mastered everything, maybe. <laughs> Not really. You can never truly master golf. You can only do your best and probably shoot a different score a different way each time you go out. Even if you shoot the same score, you're probably going to end up shooting it a different way. <laughs> <laughs> ah, should be good for the little bit of rollout that the 9-iron will have after it lands in the rough. Oh yeah! It didn't go in, but still, oh yeah, that is a birdie. I don't even have to move that at all. Woo! Now let's see what we're missing here. Oh, 3, 4, and 8. Ooh, well, 4 is a par 5, so that should be pretty, pretty simple-ish. Uh, 3 might be iffy, depending on how things go on that one, but eight, a par three. Par threes are always, always the hardest on a golf course. It just, like, like for scoring, I mean, like, yeah, so it's not really, like, people can reach the par threes, but they're always in some sort of tricky position. Oh, I, I should actually do instead a little topspin and land it in front of the green. Aha! Oh-ho! But yeah, the par threes in golf, they may be the shortest holes on the course, but do not underestimate them. Ever. Anyway, I got this birdie. At least I think I got this birdie. Yep, yeah, I've got that birdie. 
As long as I'm just like slamming the balls in the hole, I don't really have to worry about the slope that much, I guess. Alright, now the first song that I absolutely need to play to potential perfection is this one? That actually looks relatively easy to deal with. Uh, should I just go for the turtle? Will I reach the turtle? Because I know there's a fairway off on the other end of that, so I might as well... Well, even if I hit off to the left a little bit, it shouldn't matter that much, yeah. Yay! And, well, just as long as you don't get behind the rock or something like that. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, see? See, look at that. Now, I don't know I don't know how I wouldn't have gotten a birdie on this hole before, because I have the powers of the turtles. Maybe it had to do with my distance making things a little more difficult? I don't know. I'm just going to see how this goes. Maybe things will go horrendous when I actually hit my shot onto the green. Or not. Maybe it'll just be pretty routine and boring. That'll... That, 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 but boring means birdies too. <laughs> and I wouldn't call a birdie boring. It is a low score, and I will take any low score that I can get as long as it gives me a badge nowadays, I guess. Uh, that Tidy Park one that I kept flubbing on the last one, I think I actually hit the pin twice um, when I played that hole, and it bounced out of there because I overhit my putt to the hole. And just bounce out of it. I think that happened both times. That's why it. Uh, that's why I missed the birdie on each time. But you know, I was gonna go for the absolute lowest score I could anyway. Oh wait, I can't reach the green. And no, that can't be. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna go. Oops, no. I'm gonna power. Yeah, that looks like I can reach the green now. I would say. Let's go for that. The rough should, in theory, slow it down enough. If it doesn't, and it goes over the green, it should, uh... Oh! 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 Woo! Yes! <laughs> Ooh! Beautiful! <laughs> My first albatross! I was going to say, if it goes over, I'll still have two shots to get it in for birdie, but, um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. So now we got those cleared out, so now I can flub as much as I want until I get to the eighth hole, but no. I'm going for the lowest score. You can imagine, and it's going to be boring, because I'm going to play safe golf. <laughs> Not really, I don't know, I wouldn't necessarily call safe golf boring. I mean, yeah, it's maybe not quite as entertaining, but you will most certainly impress those around you if you're playing safe but good golf. <laughs> golf is one hard sport. Alright, we're on. We should be able to get that birdie. And here we go. Right, I'm just gonna whack it hard. <laughs> <laughs> just just knock it right through the break. There we go. I mean, yeah, I do alter it just a little bit to compensate for the slope, but for the most part, I'm just right through there. I guess if I miss the center of the cup, that would be a whole lot more devastating because of the, uh, uh, it, because it could rim out, but, eh, eh. You know, I wonder if I should follow Pink's advice and take this way as a shortcut on this hole, just, just for the fun of it. I don't, I don't need to get a birdie on this hole, so you know what? Let's, let's try following Pink's advice for kicks. I might have a little bit more difficulty because of the rough messing with my distance control, but maybe it won't make that much of a difference? Oh, oh wait, actually, you know what I could do? I could actually tee it up. <laughs> that's something that uh, you couldn't do in regular golf, is tee it up anywhere. I definitely don't want to land it in the tar for obvious reasons. It's just going to stick and it won't go. Oh, that might be too hard. It just won't go. But yeah, if I just tee it up, that'll just negate all the punishment of the rough anyway. Because I got my ghostly tee. Okay, and it didn't run out as much as I thought it would, which is good. And, uh, yep, I'm going to whack it hard. You know I'm going to do it. <laughs> it works. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm still a little worried about that eighth hole, though. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that one. Hopefully I'll be able to get it at least on the green and near the hole, so I won't have to deal with a long putt or a chip. 
Because, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit on the dicey side when you have to deal with one of those for birdie. And we're off, using the rough to... Oh. Didn't, didn't make it to the other fairway, okay. Well, well, it's a par 5 anyway. Uh, what if I teed it up? <laughs> uh, act, that actually might work. If I hit it hard enough so that it... Oops, I just want to go back a little bit. Like somewhere about there and land it on the fairway with maybe top spin and maybe a little bit of side curve to boot so that it goes up that gap between the tar. This, this is probably more elaborate than it needs to be. But let's see how it turns out. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Maybe not more elaborate than it needs to be. Alright. Oh, wait, that, that's actually on the green? That sure doesn't look like it's on the green, but I'll take it. Whack it hard, and it goes in. Yeah! Now about that eighth hole. If I don't get... A birdie here, I'll have to replay the round from the very beginning, I do believe. Unless I'm mistaken, and there is some sort of save and quit thing that I could abuse. But I don't think there is. So just, just continue and hope for the best. Actually, I probably could take advantage of my higher spin now. And... Hmm, I don't... Hmm. Let's try and curve it, like, <laughs> to this fat opening here. There you go, then I got some more running room. And hopefully, that will stay on the green and be relatively close to the hole. Oh boy, that's good! I'll take it, I'll take it! <laughs> but can I make the putts? I better make this putt. I don't feel like replaying this all the way from the beginning. <laughs> Birdie it is. 100% complete Lurker Valley Stroke Play. Final hole though. Can we call it 100% complete if we don't get a, in theory, perfect score? No! Actually, I don't know. I guess I'd be okay with the score that I've got so far. This is not that long of a hole, so I could probably just... Yeah. Wait, wait, actually, no, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't go in the water. Give myself a little extra backspin there to avoid any scary rollout, and... There we go, yeah, I think the backspin was a good idea on that shot. 142. Can I birdie the last hole? Can I... bring home the championship that I am making up in my own head right now? Let's find out. Actually, I think this is going to be just fine. Look at that. Look at that. Right next to the hole. And all I have to do is make the putt up the slope. Just move it a smidge to counteract the slope. And whack it hard! <laughs> yeah. I noticed that even if you get it in the hole with the pin out, it still says 0 0.3 yards to the hole. Did you, see, did you ever notice that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So now you, it's dead center, but it still says 0 0.3, but it counts, so that's all that matters. Success! But from what? Getting all the badges? <laughs> I don't know. I, maybe it's success that I survived the round. Or something like that, I guess we could call it. Because it's golf is dangerous, there's balls flying everywhere, you could be hit in the face, you've hit people in the face before with golf balls in this game, yes! Yes, extremely dangerous. Um, before I end off the part, I think I'm gonna save a little time for the next part, since we're gonna go do the courses in order and everything like that, or at least that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm gonna go wander around Cheeky Beak Peak and, uh, can I drop a ball? Yes I can, I could actually hit I can't, how did I kick those balls? I was standing above them, and I ended up kicking them upwards. Oh, wait, what the? What? No, 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 no. I am not seeing this. It has to be an illusion. <laughs> I never tried that before. Like, I've... Oops, like, I've tried flinging balls or discs over edges and stuff like that, and... Yeah, it's the scene that disappeared. Well, maybe I didn't try and fling a ball out over the edge, but we will 
probably do that in the next part. But yeah, uh, I never tried kicking a ball over the edge. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what I could create doing something like that. I can skip hopping and jump pretty far. I need to, so the catch isn't necessarily close. Uh, is that really all that I th uh, Yeah, it looks like it. So this side quest area also appears to be 100% cleared out. So with that, I guess I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I start my searches around the actual Cheeky Beak Peak over here. So prepare.